Welcome to Hadoop exam learning resources. In this session, we are going to cover the functional overview of YAM. So that is yet another resource negotiator that is above the map reduce in the new Hadoop framework Hadoop 2.0 and its components. We will discuss the components of YAM in this. So let me start with this. So clean out the screen first. Okay. So YAM, as you know, this is the new framework uh, introduced for the Hadoop that is called YAM or uh, name that is yet another resource negotiator. What does that mean exactly? You can negotiate the resources on the Hadoop cluster. Okay, so one of the another session we have already uploaded on YouTube, you can check on this channel. So you can see the full detail about what is the difference between MapReduce and YARN framework. So previous modules that is 40 minutes length in length we have uploaded. So you can refer this. So it, this session is in continuation with, with that session. So YARN, exactly YARN contains the mainly three components okay so let me draw here first is very important com component that is newly introduced resource manager first second one out of this is per node like uh, there's a on each node there would be a node manager if you remember in map reduce case there is a task tracker similar to that correct so this exactly is not a task tracker, but there is a node manager to control on each node. Resource manager is for the central component and the third component is the application master. We will discuss about this on each component uh, in few minutes. Okay, so these are the mainly three components of the Hadoop YAM. You remember this has been introduced. Now again, resource manager is also can be divided in two parts like first one is the scheduler scheduler you can say one scheduler component has been introduced okay now the second component is application manager not application master okay this is application manager that is inside the application ma manager uh, resource manager this is the application manager mainly application manager is for the lifecycle management of application master so user jobs are managed by this application masters and this life cycle of the user job is managed by the application man so you can see here are the mainly this five components which is like mainly this three component and the each resource manager has another two components so now you remember this is like let me draw again this is your Hadoop central node these are the other nodes on the Hadoop framework okay so many nodes can be there in the so so this let's assume resource manager is here this is central component to the your cluster and on each node on the, this one machine okay this is equal to your one machine this each node so this is controlled by the node manager okay so here you can see this is resource manager central component each node is handled by the node manager in the yarn okay so now each node can have multiple containers let's assume uh, this is one of the node node a b c and d this four node and this is master node i mentioned as it and not exactly the master node this is resource manager now node A is made of various container. What exactly that container means? This, this is called container. Okay. So now each container is made of some amount of memory. It RAM. Some amount of RAM for some amount of CPU, some amount of disk space. Okay, so let's assume it your node has 128 GB of RAM, 1 terabyte of hard disk and 16 core CPU. Okay, so one container can be equal to if I say is it 
approximately i will divide in the 10 container okay so your whole node is divided into 10 container i'm sorry this is 10 container each container holds 12.8 gb can approximate you can divide cpu is equal to 1.6 cpu okay and disk space is 100 gb so this equal to one container so whenever your job you submit and your job asks for a container suppose your job requires three containers to execute this uh, job so what exactly three container means from this node you might get one two and three container to run your job however it is not on the same node but similarly one container from this node another container from this node another container from this node so to run your job you need almost 40 gb of ram and uh, 6 cpus and uh, 400 gb this space in such case hadoop resource manager will assign three container from the whole cluster a b c and d from four node any three container one two and three can be assigned to your job however the in detail you can see in another module but this is the way in basic overview we can say the the way it is given to you so that about the container and resource manager and node manager now let's move to the application master okay so now let me clean out the screen what exactly is application master as we have discussed container what application master this application master is your actual code you can understand exactly is not your code this is the daemon running on the Hadoop cluster application master is responsible for holding your code suppose you have submitted your word count map reduce exam uh, map word count uh, map reduce code correct so this app your code will be holded by this application master inside this application master your whole jar would be uh, contained like would be uh, keep with this application master and then application master is a your job life cycle management so as requesting for the new container or asking for new container releasing the container from the node like you can see here on the three node you have a call requested three container so now job is finished now this container has to be released after that the responsibility of acquiring the new container releasing the older container is the responsibility of the application master so now let me again revisit the review architecture review the central resource manager is your resource manager because it has complete view of the your cluster this is your sorry uh, node manager like one node manager is equal to one node in your cluster another node manager so i'm drawing like that so you can understand this is another node manager this is four node manager so also four nodes its resource manager is also on one particular node okay but this node is like quite good node good hardware or something still this is not single point of failure there are other alternatives for this so don't take like in Hadoop 2.0 this is very uh, many and enhancement has been done so there is nothing like single point of failure exists so you can see the, your our actual training full length training which is on hadoopexam.com we have detailed explanation on the each component so resource manager is a central component it has the global view of the overall cluster suppose the four nodes are there in the cluster so this node suppose crashes so this information is exists with the resource manager because there it can say i have only three nodes now whenever the new job you submit so like job submit so based on your job submission how many containers are required is first requested from the resource manager okay so now resource manager knows like what is available in the cluster this is global picture like these three nodes is available only so from this three node resource manager will allocate the resource to your job okay now similarly if new node is added back then again this new resource new container can be 
even from this node manager so it is a good uh, resource manager always has uh, this information regarding so how this resource manager has this information with that so whenever node manager comes so like suppose um, let me uh, this is your resource manager node okay and this is your node manager so this node manager always interact with the the both are two way direction communication happens between using the heartbeat okay between resource manager and node manager so resource availability how many containers has been acquired and how many available and how many reclaim or kind of hold reporting anything or container life cycle management etc and starting and killing the job so this kind of responsibility with the node manager so node manager always send the information to the resource manager via the heartbeat so resource manager depends on the node managers itself to get the overall cluster view so resource manager depend on the node manager always keep in mind for its global view of the overall cluster availability so very simplistic if i say a client submitted job okay suppose a client you are a client you submit a job you submit the job or you can say rather than job you can say application now in yarn there is a many thing has changed so terminology also changed so you can say one map it is application you submit it now resource manager will add is like a control phase like this is like administration check like very many checks has been done like authenticity client code is good or not a wrong code or kind of thing many things can be checked by the resource manager and once this has been checked then this goes to the in the uh, accepted state your application would move to the accepted state now now there is a scheduler okay on this resource manager there is a scheduler so this scheduler now schedule your job over the cluster so now cluster has various node in your cluster so now where to sub submit the job how to schedule and everything is controlled by the resource manager so now from the accepted state to the it's like goes to the scheduler now scheduler manager once the scheduler has the enough resources to satisfy the request the application move from accepted state to the running state now in the third state it would move to the running state the state can be changed from the accepted state to the running state now application master again application master for user group that manages all the life cycle of the uh, includingly dynamically increasing and decreasing resource consumptions and the containers like so this whole job is managed by the application master so which is the why like this container on the each node can be used by the application master to run your application which you have submitted let's say for example map reduce job running reducer against the output of the map so this is reducer is a one task correct so there could be multiple reducers running so each reducer need a container to complete so suppose two reducers are running so you might require two containers from the two nodes so application master can request two containers for running this reducers but the resource manager can assign the container on the different node as well from this node and this node that depends on the availability of the resources in the cluster similarly the mapper job the, there are thousands of mapper jobs are running for your big job then resource manager will assign the thousands of container based on the availability of the like in this all depend on the scheduler so in the resource manager you have configured one pluggable resource uh, scheduler that could be capacity scheduler that could be free for scheduler the third one is a fair share scheduler so these are the mainly three uh, scheduler are supported now which you can uh, configure inside the resource manager yarn site dot xml file and that can be used so this way this whole things happen so so in depth to understand this thing you can visit hadoop exam dot com okay so www dot hadoop 
from dot com where we have provided complete 33 modules of training as of now which in depth in detail with the, some of the hands on as well exists in the training so you visit and you get the access for hadoopexam.com the hadoop training and other material as well so what we suggest is like whenever we upload new video on the youtube so you can you you will be notified if you have subscribed this channel so what we suggest please subscribe this youtube channel to get the updates on the new modules added to you know, this youtube and this freely available modules as well as some paid training might you can access from the hadoopexam.com where we provide the full detailed explanation on each component of the hadoop and yarn and we keep adding the new modules so thanks for listening and please please subscribe this channel and visit the hadoopexam.com for details